one of the most profound statements I've ever heard it was from Pastor Davis Daniels. He said, the greatest love or the greatest joy and the greatest pain is in the same place, relationships. There's joy in marriage. There's so much joy, happiness and graduations and promotions and getting together with, with loved ones and going out on vacations with them. Um, but the reality is there's also the pain of that one day they will go, they will die. Um, we will die. We are going to die. Um, I mean, being a Christian, I believe until Christ returns, um, uh, one day it'll be judgment day and, uh, they will definitely be over one day. Um, but that's one of the conversations, <laughs> But death is a very serious thing, and whether you are a person who believes in God or afterlife or not, we all know that death stings, and the Bible even says death, it hurts, it stings. Um, you know, and how do you deal with death? How do you deal with grieving? It, it's it's tough, especially when someone is, you're very close to that person. It's, it's horrendous. It's very painful, and you don't feel like doing anything, and what else is there to live for? How do you move forward? How do you deal with this pain? Um... You know, because we, we are wired to want to go towards pleasure and we want to avoid pain and pain of a loved one is very hard. Uh, very interesting. Uh, I remember I used to so I like watching uh, One Piece. It's an anime. Um, they, they, many of you, some of you probably know about it. I've heard about it. It's very interesting. Uh, yeah, we know there's this fake. It's not real. But there's certain things in it that I think can be applied to real life. Certain things, certain aspects of it um but the, the the main character lost his brother to a horrendous death and this is a character that's usually very jovial he's um very always happy loves his friends loves to defend him and protect them but his brother died um and when it happened you know the way the, the they portrayed it was wow very they put the work into that Make it seem very, very emotional in that cartoon. And, uh, you know, the man captain was, ah, oh, cry, balk, eyes is bulging, red. Oh, no, no, no. My brother, my brother, Ace. And his brother, his brother name is Ace. Ace. You know, there's so much emotion in that cartoon. Um, and then he had one of his friends, like, was trying to talk to him and reassure him, like, would you, I know it's all, I know it's painful, I know, I know, <laughs> you know. But he was like, what do you still have? What do you still have? What do you still have? I was like, whoa. And then the guy, the character was like, my friends, my friends. <laughs> so some of you probably be like, well, that's cheesy or whatever, whatever. You know, I, 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 was, I was emotional. I mean, I was emotional. I, you know, it's fake, but I'm like, wow, wow. But they did a good job. Um, what do you still have? Um, they, they hit me because... Um, you know, often when we do lose a loved one or anything in life, any sort of loss, um, loss of an asset, loss of a business, loss of a child, loss of a home, car, you know, there's, some, there's some grieving there, there's some disappointment there. But obviously, um, losing a loved one is, I think, the deepest pain that you could feel. But we, all, we often are focusing on the loss, of, the loss and um, what else do we still have? What do you still have? Um, look at your loved ones and be be grateful for them, but know that they're not always going to be here. You're, you're not always going to be there. I'm not always going to be around. So you have the higher perspective that 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 these people these people are a gift from God. They, you know, um, and God didn't have to give us life to even enjoy our friends, enjoy our family. But for every time we have them, have have with them to enjoy them. Um, but we also got to know that life life goes on. And we need a purpose, a, a way of, a, we need a purpose for living that's beyond anybody, um, spouse, child, because any moment, any one of us can die, no matter, no matter the age. Um, and what do you do once that person goes? And if you have no purpose beyond that, no higher reason for living, it's going to be very hard to move forward. What do you still have? That's my question to you today is, what can you hold on to? What or what can you, um, what do you have? What gift? What skill? What contribution to the world can you still do 
in memory or even to to in memory of, the, of that person to even honor that their memory um and to give you a purpose to move forward um you know because my purpose is to i'm a preacher to preach the word of god and you know say that one you know tell people about the lord and people one day, one day death will be over one day this all this is going to come to an end you know and, and other things but um but your purpose could be multiple things um something something to change someone's life it could be feeding the homeless it could be building an orphanage it could be trying to find a cure for a particular disease um making um making housing more affordable affordable for people starting some business businesses uh teaching people how to um offering support for people people who are handicapped blind deaf the list goes on There's so much things to do that can outlive you so what purpose are you working on, building on, or that can that can outlive you? That's bigger th than even you. That'll outlive you. Um, but yeah, if you're going through the suffering, through a loss of loved one, or you know, if, if you if you haven't yet, it's gonna come. Um, but don't keep that pain inside. Ventilate it. Release it some way in healthy ways. Um, don't be always so isolated because it's it's tempting to want to be isolated and not want to do anything. But even text somebody, you know, that's someone that's very, um, you know, a really nice person, a really high quality person. Um, find it, starting to walk outdoors, get around nature, find something, you know. Um, but being sad all the time and isolated, it's, it's um, you know, I would say you know, one, two, three days tops. But after that, you really gotta say, I need, I need to, I need to do something. I need to get up. I need to find. <laughs> my mojo again i need to interact with somebody you know i need to you know find something to smile at again but find it seek it the bible says seeking you shall find um but um i pray that you'll be encouraged i pray for your families for those who are going through hard hard times right now suffering through grief um it's the human experience can't avoid it but um, let's endure it. Let's press on it. As the Bible does say, and those that endure, the same will be saved. So endure, find ways to release it, to process it, talk about it, then get it out some way. All right? And push ahead. Push on. What do you still have to contribute to the world that will bring fulfillment to your life beyond that person, even beyond that person that died. You need a purpose that is bigger beyond all of us. All right, so don't put your, don't put your whole purpose for living in somebody that will die. Put your purpose in what will impact the world. I, I am a world changer. That's who I am, and I pray you become, you become a world changer as well. God bless you. I love you.